Hello everyone, this is Rajiv Janjala. I am an educator at Anacademy. You can follow me on Anacademy Learning app where you can find Madhu Kursa as well. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the multi-leaf springs which are commonly used in automobiles. Okay? And please rate, review and share the video and also subscribe to Anacademy YouTube channel. Welcome again to multi-leaf springs. A multi-leaf spring consists of a series of flat plates usually of semi-elliptic shape. A multi-leaf spring is shown in the figure. So in this figure you can find a semi-elliptic leaf spring. So now we are going to discuss about the parts of this semi-elliptic leaf spring. The flat plates are called the leaves of the spring. So this multi-leaf spring is consists of series of flat plates right and the terminology used for the flat plates is the leaves of the spring. So we have to call the flat plates of this multi-leaf springs as the leaves. The leaves have graduated lengths. They have graduated length as you can see in this figure and the leaf at the top has maximum length and it is called as the master leaf so this this leaf of this material spring is called as a master leaf because it has the maximum length right and the length gradually decreases from the top leaf to the bottom so as you can observe from this figure you can see the lengths of these plates the flat plates or the leaves of this material springs are gradually decreasing and the master leaf bent at both ends to form the spiral spring eyes. So these, the bent portion of this master leaf are called as the spring eyes. And two bolts are inserted through the spring eyes to fix the leaf spring to an automobile. So, so we have to fix through with the help of these spring eyes of this multi, multi leaf spring to the automobile. So, so in any application we use these spring eyes as a fixing joints for this multi leaf spring. Okay. So the leaves are held together by means of two U bolts and a center clip. See in this figure. So these leaves of this multi leaf spring are held together by U bolts here. And the ribbon clips are provided to keep the leaves in alignment and prevent lateral shifting of the leaves during the operation so these are the rebound clips these are the rebound clips which are used to keep the leaves of the multi leaf spring without any disturbance and uh, at the center of the leaf spring is supported on the axle so this center of this leaf spring is supported by an axle here at here we have the axle and uh, multi leaf springs are provided with one or two extra full length leaves in addition to master leaf and the extra full length leaves are stuck between the master leaf and the graduate length of the leaves and the extra full length leaves are provided to support the transfer shear force so to resist this the transfer shear load we have to keep two two extra full length leaves as shown in the figure you can see these are the two extra full length leaf these are provided to this multi leaf spring to support the the transfer shear load on this multi leaf springs okay we are going to discuss about the stresses and the type of loading acting on these the extra full length leaves and also the master leaf and also the graduate length of the leaves in the design analysis of these multi leaf springs so the applications of multi leaf springs is provided here multi leaf springs are widely used for the suspension of carts trucks and railway wagons so for the purpose of analysis the leaves are divided into two groups namely master leaf along with graduated length leaves forming one group and the extra full length forming the other so for the simplicity simplifying the analysis of the design of these multi leaf springs we have to assume we have to divide the multi leaf springs into two parts one is one part consists of the master leaf and the graduated length of the leaves and the other part consists of the two extra full length leaves because the two extra full length leaves have the load they are they are here to resist the transverse loading right transverse shear loading that's why we are discussing about these the design of these extra full length leaves in a different part okay different group okay so now we are going to see the design analysis of this multi leaf springs along with the master leaf and also the graduated length of the leaves and also the 
extra full length leaves of this multi leaf spring so the notation used in the design analysis of multi leaf springs is provided here so before going to discuss about the design analysis we have to see the notations and the terminology used in the design of multi leaf springs nf is the number of extra full length leaves ng is the number of graduated length leaves including the master leaf and n the total number of leaves in that multi leaf spring and b is the width of each leaf and t is the thickness of each leaf and l is the length of the cantilever or the half length of the semi elliptic spring so this length from the center to the end one end is called as the l it is denoted by l and which is called as the length of the cantilever or the half length of the semi elliptic spring okay and p is the force applied at the end of the spring pf the portion of the p taken by the extra full length leaves and pg is the portion of p taken by the graduated length of the length group of the leaves so when we apply some external load on the multi leaf spring the force will be divided among the extra full length leaves and also the graduated length of the leaves right so the portions will be given by pf and pg here so with the help of this notation we are going to discuss about the design analysis of this multi leaf springs so the design analysis of the graduated length of the length leaves portion so as i said before the design analysis of multi leaf spring is divided into two groups one is the extra full length group of the multi leaf spring and the graduated length including the master leaf of the multi leaf spring right so now we are going to discuss about the the design analysis of graduated length leaves portion so the group of graduated length leaves and the master leaf can be treated as a triangular plate as shown in the figure so see here so we have arranged the multi leaf the full uh, master leaf along with the graduated length leaf as a triangular show, triangular plate shown in the figure so these are arranged in such a way that the in this case it is assumed that the individual leaves are separated and the master leaf placed at the center so in this figure we have the rectangular plate right so the master leaf is at the center and the graduated leaves are cut longitudinally and they are placed either sides of this master leaf so after cutting this uh, the, gra the graduated length leaves of the multi leaf spring we have to place them on either side of this master leaf so this is half part the above the portions of the graduated length leaves about the multi the master leaf are half part of the graduated length leaves and the below are the same and they are divided longitudinally into two halves one half is placed on the upper side and the other half is half is placed on the lower side and they have the width of b by 2 so the the dimensions are shown in this figure so the dimensions of the triangle plate is given in this figure so this this portion can be used to analyze the design of graduated length leaf so it is assumed to that this the design of this uh, triangle plate will lead to the design of the safe design of the the graduated length portion of the multi leaf spring so here uh, the resultant shape is approximately a triangular plate of the thickness t and the maximum width at the support is given by ng into b so we have for this triangular plate it has a thickness of t and the width at the support is ng into b where ng is the number of graduated length leaves and b is the the width of the spring width of the uh, leaves of the spring okay so with the help of these dimensions we are going to uh, apply the design parameters or the design analysis techniques to this triangular plate and which are useful useful for the design analysis of graduated length portion of the multi leaf spring okay so the bending stress in the plate so the multi leaf spring is under the application of bending load right it is given by pg which is the load the portion of the load taken by the graduated length leaves and it is denoted by p here it is applied at the end of the triangle plate so they are acting actually act, actually on this multi leaf spring the load acts here right so we have assumed this portion or these loadings acting on the multi leaves are same as the loadings 
acting on this triangular plate so analysis of this triangular plate under the application of bending loading at the one end given by pj is same as the analysis of the multi leaf spring or the graduated length portion of the multi leaf spring so we are going to apply the analysis thing is this part to this part and which is resembles the the graduate length portion of the multi leaf spring so let's calculate the stresses on this triangular plate which resembles the the graduate length portion of the multi leaf spring so here here we have the bending stress in the plate so we have the formula for the bending stress in a beam at the support is given by sigma bg equals to mby by, by i which is equals to pg into l moment equals to pg into l and uh, y equals to t by 2 where t is the thickness and we have the moment of inertia formula 1 by 12 into ngb into t cube so on substituting these values and simplifying the value of sigma b the bending stress in the plate we have sigma bg equals to 6 pg l by ng b t square this is the value of the bending stress in the graduated length portion of the multi leaf spring this is very important formula for the calculation of the bending stress Thank you.